Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be dual booting Windows 98 Second Edition and Windows 10 version 1909. Why anyone would actually do this is beyond me. I have no clue what purpose dual booting Windows 98 and Windows 10 really serves. However, it's generally an experiment just to kind of see what would happen. I don't even know if this would work on a physical machine because we're simply virtualizing it in VMware Workstation. This is simply an experiment, and I obviously don't recommend you doing this for any reason whatsoever, unless you want to replicate it and just kind of have fun with it. So, let's get started. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is create a new virtual machine. We're going to go ahead and select my Windows 98 ISO, and go ahead and name the, of course, virtual machine Windows 98 10 Dual Boot. That came out really weird. Now we're actually going to be editing this hard drive later, so we're just going to go ahead and leave it as 8 gigabytes and going ahead to disable that and finish. So of course to get Windows 10 to work on this, we have to make a few hardware modifications to the virtual machine. First, give this machine 1 gigabyte of RAM. Windows 98 only really supports 1 gigabyte of RAM, it does not natively support more. There is ways to allow it to support more, but obviously just for time's sake and for laziness sake, there's no need to do that. Windows 10 isn't going to run the best on 1 gig, but it'll still run. Next is we have to remove this hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and remove the IDE disk and add another IDE disk except to make it 70 gigabytes. The last time I tried this it automatically added a SCSI drive, which is why I had to make a new hard drive. But for some reason it did IDE this time. That was a complete waste of time. Once that is done, we can go ahead and power on the virtual machine and attempt to install Windows 98 first. So of course, we're going to boot into the CD-ROM and boot setup from the CD-ROM. We're going to install Windows 98 first on the first partition of the disk, so when we install Windows 10, all we have to do is go ahead and continue with the installation. We don't even have to touch the Windows 98 partition. So we're going to go ahead and set up Windows and configure the unallocated disk space, and we're not going to use large disk support. So now we're going to have to restart the virtual machine back into the CD as I'm not using floppy drives and hopefully we'll be formatting our partition. Okay, so as you saw in that last clip, Windows 98 setup refused to start. What I actually had to do was go in and lower the RAM from exactly 1 gigabyte down to 512. Windows 98 can boot with 1 gigabyte, however it can't boot in the setup phase. So we're just going to go ahead and boot with 512 and then up it to 1 later. So of course this is your standard Windows 98 setup wizard, and once we're done with this, we're going to have to reboot into Windows 98, and then we're going to go ahead and, like I said, go through and set it up. So we're going to go ahead and install the most common components just to get the most standard installation of Windows 98, and we're ready. We're now installing Windows 98. This is the first part we need to do. We need to install Windows 98 before we can install Windows 10. All right, so here we are after the install, and that did not look too good, but we are booting into Windows 98. I may have already set it up off camera because the recording actually corrupted, so, but we're in the setup now. It's gonna initialize the driver database, and hopefully from there, we're gonna see our Windows 98 desktop. From there, we're gonna go ahead and install the VMware tools on this machine, and then we're going to get ready to install Windows 10. Hopefully this goes to plan as I've tested this off camera, and it should, in theory, go perfect based on the way that I've done it off camera about three times to make sure that this works, but it might not work because why would it work? Nothing ever works. All right, so here we are after the first boot of Windows 98. Now we're logging into our desktop. So from here, we're obviously going to go into VM and removal devices. Actually, it's right there. Install VMware tools and go ahead and install VMware tools so we can get that nice 1080p Windows 98 and graphics drivers. So welcome to Windows 98 won't look like this mess anymore if I can manage to exit out of this somehow. Okay, let's ignore that, and let's go ahead and open my computer and go ahead and launch VMware Tools. So this is like, like this is just your standard VMware Tools installation. This really has nothing to do with the actual dual booting. And okay, I did not add another monitor to the host computer, but... So how are we gonna proceed from here? Well, we're gonna, of course, restart the machine to install VMware Tools. Once the machine restarts and we know that VMware Tools is 100% functional, we're going to go ahead and we're going to shut down the machine and up the RAM to 1GB. 
Windows 98 should, in theory, boot on one gigabyte once it's already installed. But once we do that, I'm not too worried about it booting at one gigabyte. I'm more worried after that point about getting Windows 10 installed. So here we are, Windows 98 at 1080p. Well, not 1080p, but we have the colors. And I'm sure I can get it running at 1080p, maybe. I don't even know settings, control panel, which isn't even an option. It's 1920 by 1440. Now, that's great. Let's apply that. That is way too big. Let's just do 1280 by 720, which isn't even an option. Thank you, Windows 98. That is not... Okay, this is going to bother me, definitely. Okay, looks like this is going to do for our Windows 98 install. So, now that VMware Tools is installed, we can now shut down the virtual machine and go ahead and up the RAM and install Windows 10. So, going into our memory settings, let's up that to 1 gig. Go ahead and change this to Windows 10 1909. I'm using Windows 10 1909 primarily because I really don't have another version of Windows 10 already downloaded. There's no specific reason to using an older version. So we're going to go ahead and boot from the CD-ROM drive and allow Windows to boot. Alright, so here we are. We have finally booted into the Windows 10 setup. That only took about 5 minutes to load, but now we can go ahead and install Windows. Now I'm hoping that I see what I want to see. Windows 98 with the no with the no disk support should have partitioned a 2 gigabyte partition for itself and left the other roughly 68 unallocated. If it didn't do that, then I don't know what we're going to do from here. But it should have left 2 gigabytes for itself and then 68 unallocated. I'm hoping. And just like that, there it is. 2 gigabytes partition 1 Windows 98 because that is not NTFS and the unallocated 68. So that's it. We're installing Windows 10 now. It was as simple as that. All right, so our copy of Windows 10 1909 has of course finished installing. So we're gonna go through the basic setup. Now I believe the network adapter is not going to work on this. So when it asks us to connect to the internet, we're just gonna have to completely skip it. And that's because we set the virtual machine for Windows 98 and obviously this isn't Windows 98, and Windows 98 and Windows 10 should use two totally different network adapters. So yeah, it's not going to detect a network, so we're just going to click, I don't have internet. And of course, limited setup, because we don't have any internet. When we get into Windows 10, I'm going to switch the VM type from Windows 98 to Windows 10 temporarily, so I can of course get the Windows 10 VMware tools. It should allow us to do that, but if it doesn't, Actually, no, I'm not going to switch to VM type. I'm simply going to mount the ISO uh, because I know where the VMware tools ISO is. I'm simply going to mount it and install it that way, which should be simple enough. Now the program, now you may think, well, we're done, right? Shouldn't Windows 98 automatically show up when we boot up the computer? No, Windows 10 has overwritten the Windows 98 bootloader, so it really can't boot. In fact, right now, there's no way for Windows 98 to ever show its face on this computer again. Okay, VMware Tools, just like this, go ahead and open this up and install it. Now, I'm not too concerned about, of course, no network. We can fix that later, but I also do have an actual copy of the EZBCD on a USB, so I can just insert the USB, appoint it to Windows 10 VM, and do that. But while VMware Tools is installing, I'm going to go over EasyBCD. Okay, so EasyBCD is a software, of course, created by NeoSmart Technologies. You can basically dual boot your computer with anything you want. And one of its main features is one that we'll be using today, booting into legacy systems that Microsoft doesn't support, like Windows 9X, which is, of course, what we're doing today. Okay, so while VMware Tools is, of course, installing itself, I've, in, I've plugged the USB into the computer and, of course, copied over EasyBCD to Windows 10. So now we have EasyBCD simply on our desktop, ready to install. Okay, so this is a basically simply, this is a simple installer. We just have to go through it exactly like we went through one with VMware Tools. And just like that, EasyBCD is installed onto our computer. 
where it should automatically open yes and it's reminding you that this is only a non-commercial use if you use this for commercial use you should buy a commercial environment Okay, so now VMware Tools has restarted our computer, so now my mouse is actually usable. So once again, we're going to go ahead and open ESD, or we're going to go ahead and open EasyBCD 2.4, and here we can see our, of course, the window. There is currently one entry in the bootloader, and that is Windows 10 on boot drive D, somehow. So we're going to go ahead and add a new entry. Go ahead and change the type from Windows 10 to Windows 9598ME, and the drive is actually automatically determined, so we simply don't have to do anything. We're just going to go ahead and name this Windows 98, and go ahead and click the little green plus. From there, we can see that we have two entries, Windows 10 and Windows 98. Now, if you wanted to switch your default operating system to Windows 98, that's actually simple. Just go ahead and go to Edit Boot Menu, and then switch default to Windows 98, but we're not going to do that. We could also change. We could also choose to skip the Metro bootloader, which is the blue one, but we're just going to go ahead and use it for now. And just like that, we can go ahead and restart our system, and we should be brought to our bootloader. All right, so here we are. We can now choose between Windows 98 and Windows 10. Windows 10 is recognized because it's a UEFI operating system and it knows it's Windows 10, but Windows 98 is just like a little application window, which let's choose that. Let's go ahead and boot into Windows 98. Since Windows 10 is the default operating system, it's gonna have to restart the machine, but here it is. We're now booting into our original copy of Windows 98. Now this is a new thing that was added through EasyBCD, the Grub for DOS, that's just a bootloader thing, and usually it doesn't take long, it just shows up for a few seconds, and there you go. So now we can go ahead and click OK, and now somehow we're running Windows 98 at 1080p. Full screen, this is amazing. So we can go ahead and run our tasks in here, so for example if we want to go to Notepad, which is right there. We can go ahead and write this is a document and blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and save this onto our desktop. If I can, desktop, yes. Blah. All right, so our tasks have been completed in Windows 10. So our task has been completed in Windows 98. One thing just to mention, you cannot see um, our Windows 10 drive in Windows 98 because Windows 98 simply does not recognize NTFS. So now that everything we wanted to do has been done in Windows 98, we can go ahead and restart our machine and simply boot into Windows 10. So of course we're going to go ahead and click Windows 10 because that's what we want to boot into. And here we are, we've just booted back into Windows 10. We can go ahead and open our file explorer, go into this PC, our Windows 98 drive, my documents, that's not it, Windows, desktop, and there is our Windows document that we wrote inside of Windows 98. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something about how really easy it is to dual boot two operating systems if you know what you're doing. Um, when you know what you're doing and you know what softwares you have to use, it really makes things a whole lot easier. And so with that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe as we're almost near 2,000 subscribers. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.